Hi guys, I just wanted to do a show how my Shockwave Totem Hierophant was coming along. So, um, with garbage gear, it's actually doing really well. Um, I got this wand that actually has a whole bunch of damage to it, so it's not terrible. This helmet is pretty much disgusting. And I got an enfeeble cast when damage taken set up here. I got Herald of Ash and Warlord's Milk Mark that's not being used. Uh, spell damage shield with quite a bit of life, but nothing else. This ring is for the attributes only. Or, excuse me, amulet. Ring has garbage life and very little resist. Garbage life and nothing else. I get try to resist, but low and some life. We got uh, shockwave totem with faster casting, increased area of effect, increased critical strikes. These gloves are complete trash, a little bit of life, purity of ice and hatred. Boots are okay, good amount of life, a little bit of resist and some movement speed. Uh, got a decent amount of resist on the belt and that's it. Flasks are just basic, whatever I picked up. Two life flasks, a quicksilver mana that doesn't really get used, and the ruby flask is just for the staunching. So far from optimized, but we'll give her a go. So we cast our Herald of Ash and Hatred, and let's go. Oops. As long as I'm at full uh, energy shield, Shockwave Totem doesn't cost anything. But if I'm not full, then it only costs half, so it's still pretty easy to maintain. Let's see, my crit chance is 38.5, so not terrible, but could be worked on still. And pretty soon I'll be working on going low life, so survivability should go up even more as well as a little bit more DPS from a uh, pain attunement. But as you can see, it does pretty well. You know, it's kind of like an Atsiri riding here. Try, try to uh, run around and avoid damage as much as possible. See, there's no mana issues at all. Oh god. Physical damage is quite uh, difficult to manage yet. Like I said, I gotta work on my gears and stuff. But And this is Merciless Dried Lake, and I've only got, you know, nothing for defenses. Can't complain too much. So anyways, you get the idea. It does pretty well. I'll show you the tree real quick so far. Um, I got Divine Guidance as a Hierophant, as well as Sanctuary of Thought. And this is what makes my skills cost nothing. It's really nice. And also the 25% maximum mana is extra maximum energy shield. It's really quite good. It gave me like 600 energy shield. Um, Divine Guidance just gives me more mana, which is also more energy shield, as well as the 10% mind over manner, matter. And obviously, I rushed over here to 
ancestral bond. Got a couple of life nodes here and there. Some range and damage nodes. Totem crit here. Started going for energy shield. A little bit of life. Uh, the crit chance here. The radius. Uh, cast speed. Strength and the dexterity because it's hard to find. It's life and mana. Uh, crit chance. Crit chance. So that's the tree. And that's how it's going so far. With crap gear i really need to work on it so there's still a long ways to go a lot of potential to do a lot better so uh, i'm pretty happy with it so far so if you uh, like this got anything out of it please like and subscribe if not don't and i will see you in future videos